now I'm kind of turned around again. So we came up from there. Went through there. Oh, I went that way. Let's try going this way then. Now, that's not encouraging. What'd they do? Were they just mining or they were di or were they dying? The pose you strike while mining is such an aggressive pose. It makes you look like you're attacking something. Because in a way you are, the, you know, the minerals or whatnot. Murray. But it looks like they're just attacking a person. Alright, so I need to guess better as to which direction I'm supposed to go. I think maybe I'm supposed to drop down off that one scaffolding I saw. The broken part. Otherwise there's not a ton to go on. So I think the reveal is that I'm supposed to go down there, because it's specifically pointing down. Oh, that seems super dangerous. Let's find out. Ow. I'm really just nailing it today. I don't know if that's coming out clear. <laughs> A plus, MLG, best scanner somber player ever. Is that not the way I'm supposed to go? It feels like they're trying to gesture me that way. This might be the first time I feel like a kind of a lack of direction. Oh. Dummy. Dummy. <laughs> Turn around. Does it matter that all of this is in my memory? Does it make it any less real? My memory. Are we not experiencing this right now? Or are we talking about the memory as in like of the machines? I was there. I was the first. Weird. I was thinking memory as in like we've been picking up these scanners from other people, presumably. So that would mean that that would mean that we have these weird memory glitches could be coming from those scanners, as opposed to being something we're seeing. But, I think we died here. I think we died in here and we're trapped in here and we're just mapping these tunnels over and over again. Stuck with our memory of, like, yay, we did it, we were first, congratulations. And now we can never leave. Careful now. No. There's people falling. Don't fall! I made it. Ah, suckers. I'm king of the world. How big is this area? Area, I gotta take a look. Oddly satisfying to see the glowing... The glowing bridges as we've gone here. That's neat. Try not to die. Oh, you're there- you're all- oh, they're all creepily posing everywhere. Wait, what? Is this a museum exhibit? There's signs now. I can't read it, but this is some kind of sign. What's going on here? 
Are all the dying miners also an exhibit? Is this all an exhibit? Look at that. Oh, this is getting weird. I was like, what's up with the statues? But now it's becoming pretty clear they're all behind rails. This one in particular is like clearly just a display. Or museum or something. Is this a museum that's a tribute to my own discoveries? Is this entire place some kind of absurd... What if this entire place is some kind of absurd, like, amusement park ride? Like, it's a small world, like I thought before. But it's a tribute to this character, who was the person who discovered it at the time. And now you're dis Are we just playing his memories? Like, an ex like his memories are the exhibit? Is there no danger? I mean, there seems to be danger. <laughs> but maybe this is all a simulation. Maybe this video game itself is the thing that is, was made of his memories, and that's the point. It's a weird thought. Things got really weirdly meta all of a sudden. Doesn't really become more or less legible when I change settings. It's still just a sign I can't read. I just feel like one of them's gonna move. Hey, for once the mining- for once the mine carts are actually filled of th with things. Hello, miner man. And for once, it's actually filled with green. Where are we going with this? I'm just not sure what to think. What is that? An elevator? Is that my escape? I remember coming down like it was yesterday. Hoping I'd find something below, hoping it wouldn't be another empty cave. I just wish I'd been better prepared. Did we die and get stuck inside the, uh, the data or something? There's one over there too. What's that mean? Is there any way to reach it? Oh. I don't think I'm getting in there there. What's the deal with that? I can see it. I don't think I can interact. I guess I'll try the other one. Now there's piping here? This place is developed. What is going on? That's our escape, right? That's a vertical shaft going out. We followed the exhibit all the way up here. And now what? Dead end? Does it want me to do something? Focus the beam on it or something? Doesn't seem like it. Up here? Oh, here we go.
One way or another, this goes somewhere. I think they're just taunting me with the idea of leaving, but what's with the exhibit? There's such a weird direction to take this in. What? Every now and then the game just hitches a bit. Which is surprising, because this is a pretty high-end PC, so I guess... I guess we're just dealing with engine limitations, I suppose? The game can just only take so much. I mean, I'm throwing a lot of dots around. <laughs> oh. The fact that there's still dark spots up here that I can't- that I haven't marked before, it's like the only way I can tell where I'm going and whether or not I'm getting higher or anything. Is that when, every time I go higher, there's another dark spot that I've never covered before because I've never been high enough to do that yet. It's like the only way to see my progress, if that's even what it is. It's hard to tell if I'm actually making progress right now. I'm- oh, I'm behind the gate. Okay. Oh. Loud noise is very startling. <laughs> ah. Three-step process. Enable our escape. Oh, I bet I have to drop down there, but let's avoid it for now and see. If that's the case or not. Yeah, that's what I thought. They're inviting me to drop down there. One way. What could go wrong, right, guys? Let's find out. Heck are you? Some kind of switchboard? It's just so uncomfortable and empty around here. And we're so close to the end. What seems like it must be the end. That I'm just more on edge that something's gonna happen somehow. Despite nothing ever happening to me aside from my own suicides. Kind of hugging walls. Sort of, ma sort of standard maze tactic of sorts. Just to try to make sense of this place. Is that a chasm? Ah, there it is. Across that for some reason. What do I do with that? Just jump in, I guess. Oop, now I live down here. Congrats, me. Uh, this is my new high-end apartment. The, the, I call it the Bedazzler. So this should take me to where the cave-in was, right? Yep, here's the other side of the cave-in. Which, which it required me to take that entire path in the first place. So let's see where it was taking me to here. Oh, that would've, that would've been a very short walk. If not for everything blocking me along the way. Loud noise, prepare. Maybe this will suffice as an exit. Drop down, right? Yay! Escape. It's moving now. Should I be worried? 
It's a lot of noise. This elevator is my salvation and I feel the need to paint it. What is that light? Oh, that was, that was probably me, actually. A little bit of what I've been doing. Salvation, elevator, you shall be like the stars. Now it's so bright and the surroundings are so dark. I believe this is my stop. Goodbye, Salvation Elevator. There's a giant gear, what the heck? What is this, abduction now? More exhibit, it looks like. Oh, that's the, uh, that gear is how the elevator worked. Right. That makes sense. How many times do I have to relive this? Always the same rock, same metal, same stale air. And the guilt. What did I do? End the world? Some of that's just like a bat. I just want to see my family again. That's probably just bats. Whoa! Game is struggling right now. I don't know how I died. Are we outside? I can't see when I'm outside, but the stars are here. Oh, it's my family. Right down there waiting for me. I'm outside. That's the mine. I'm outside the mine now. That's like the extent of its shape. That's what it looks like. There's like the invitation board or something. This mine I'm climbing out of that's somehow museum shaped. I wonder if I discovered this cave and everything inside of it, then died by falling somewhere, then became another spirit trapped in it like everyone else was supposed to be. But in the meantime, they turned it into a museum because of my discovery or something like that. And so now it's just people just casually go in there all the time like it's no big deal. But I'm still dead. And I'll never not be dead. And I'm still there in the exhibits. Just wandering around forever. That's a bizarre ghost story situation. Here's a cool vi cool visual, vi uh, visual there messing with the uh, trees. I think I actually like it better like this. I'm so far gone I can only see through here. Of all the memories I'm forced to relive, it's the only thing I don't remember. Their death. 
But it breaks my heart knowing that I left my family behind. Can he only see via this scanner because they are always here for me. I wonder if he can only see through this thing even when he's outside. Specifically because his memories are literally trapped inside the actual memory of the scanner. Like the RAM. Or whatnot. Like his spirit's inside the it, so that's how he processes the entire world now. Well, that's not the correct way to do this. <laughs> they never know I'm coming. They know I'm never coming back. Woo! That freaked it out. What is happening now? 
Uh oh. Am I finding out how I died? Oh no. They put me back in. Oh right, because he loops over and over again, right? Whoa! All well, the dots are leaving. Oh, that's a trip. All well, the dots fly away. And he's forced to loop it again. And again. And again. It's a happy game made by happy people. That's what it is. All right, that was Scanner Somber. Pretty much the definition of a walking simulator. Just go wander around until you get to the end of the thing. Uh, it was in many ways actually more or less the, uh, it was kind of like having the uh, the first level of, uh, of uh, Unfinished Swan stretched out for the entire uh, game, but with a much darker tone. Because while well, that was while well, that was a game that was all the white and you splotched black around to get some definition and tell what you're looking at, this one's pure black until you until you uh, splash things around and it has a similar inverted tone for the rest of the game, not and not just its visuals and mechanics. Neat little experience. It definitely falls in that weird territory that I don't know how to process. Where it's like, I'm happy personally that I played it. I'm like that was cool. That's, that's memorable. I'll talk about that here and there with a few people. But it's hard to recommend to somebody. Because I don't know how to... Because it's like you, you, have, you need such specific... Such specific uh, forms of measurement for like quality or what people expect or what the person you're talking to would want out of a game in the first place in order to figure out how to recommend this to somebody. In a really weird way, it's like a creepy... It's like a creepy... Uh, theme house ride, really. Like, that's... If that's what somebody wants for their game, then they can try it out. <laughs> I thought it was cool. Interesting gimmick, and it, and I... From what I've seen from this company, I think they generally are a company that seems to see what they can get out of really minimal visuals. Because Darwini was similar like, like that, too. It was like, it was, it's always... Everything I've ever seen from this company that I've identified as being part of this company has always been something I can clearly identify as being an efficient project, basically, where they get the most they can out of very little, which makes sense. And I think this generally fit with that, that idea, too. Anyway, that's been Scanner Somber, guys. Thanks for watching, like always, and I'll see you next time. Why is our new game plus? 